Now, let us have a look at future simple tense. How do we write a sentence using active voice in future simple tense? First, we will take a subject, we will add a will or a shall to it and then we will add a verb. And in the passive voice, what we will do is, we will take a subject, we will add a will or a shall to it, then we will add be and a past participle. Now, let us understand this with the help of an example. My parents will take me to Paris. Now, this sentence is in the active voice. Let us see how this sentence can be written in the passive voice. I will be taken to Paris by my parents. So, this sentence is in the passive voice. Next, future continuous tense. Now, how do we write a sentence in the active voice? We will take a subject, we will add a will or a shall to it, then we will add be and a verb having ing. Also, how do we write in the passive voice? We will take a subject, we will take will or shall, then we will add a be, then we will add being and then we will add past participle. Let us take an example to understand this. Alan will be studying mathematics tonight. So, this sentence is in the active voice. Now, how do we write this sentence in the passive voice? Mathematics will be being studied by Alan tonight. So, this sentence is in the passive voice. Next, let us have a look at the future perfect tense. How will we write a sentence in active voice in the future perfect tense? What will we do? We will take a subject, then we will add a will, then we will add a have and then we will add a past participle. And in the passive voice, what we will do? We will take a subject, we will add a will have been to it and then we will add a past participle. Now, let us take an example. Saurav will have completed the assignment. Now, this sentence is in the active voice. And the same sentence in the passive voice will become, the assignment will have been completed by Saurav. Lastly, let us have a look at future perfect continuous tense. So, how do we write a sentence in active voice in future perfect continuous tense? What we will do is, we will take a subject, we will add a will to it and then we will add a have been to it and then we will add a verb having ing. And in the passive voice, what will we do? We will take a subject, we will add a will to it, then we will add a have been to it, then a being and then past participle. Now, let us take an example. Monica will have been writing the assignment. This sentence is written in the active voice. And the same sentence in the passive voice will become, the assignment will have been being written by Monica. So, this sentence is in the passive voice. And with this students, we come to the end of this topic. I hope active and passive voice is clear to you. So, students with this, we come to the end of this topic. I hope you have understood this topic and enjoyed it as well. See you in my next class.